So you have an issue. You have a pass sensor, but there is no pass system on your motor controller. Here is how you can build a pass module using just the 555 timer chip and some basic electronic components. So what is pass? It's pedal assist system. It senses the rotation of the pedals and sends a signal to activate the motor. Now, how we can mimic that signal without actually having this system on your controller? Let's see what a pass signal actually is. Basic pass sensor have three wires, ground plus five volt and an output wire. Ground and plus five volt is to power the sensor itself and the output wire sends out a signal. That signal switches between high and low. This is accomplished by small magnets that pass the sensor as pedals rotate. Magnets are arranged so that they create a flipping magnetic field. First magnet creates a field and the next one is flipped around so it creates an opposite field. This way we get a signal that switches between high and low, in other words, on and off. Well, we can just connect this signal to the input wires of the throttle on your controller, but unfortunately that won't work. The challenge here is that pass sensor will be either stuck at on or at off position, depending on at what position you will stop pedaling. So in worst case scenario, you will be stuck with the turning motor, although you have stopped pedaling. I figured a solution for this challenge using just a basic 555 timer chip and some basic electronic components. The cost of this project is just basically your time, so check it out. The principle here is to create a stable high output only when pass sensor has gone through a full on-off cycle. Then you need to connect this output to the input of the throttle signal on your controller, parallel with the actual throttle signal. Both the pass system and your throttle will work independently, giving power to the motor. Here is the schematic for this build. I apologize for poor drawing, this is really not my thing. I'm used to doing breadboarding and experimenting like that. This is created around a monostable timer circuit and some additional simply circuitry. Output only activates after a full on-off cycle from the pass sensor, thus making it work only when pedals are moving constantly. There are two NPN transistors. I used these ones and they worked fine for me, but you could experiment with other models of NPN transistors. There is a variable resistor to adjust the amount of voltage sent to the throttle input of the controller, thus regulating the amount of power going to the motor. Also, there is a low resistance diode to prevent the output signal of the throttle messing up the pass module. Also, a same diode like this have to be connected to the throttle output signal. Here is how you connect that. Now see how it works. Here is a pass sensor, my pass module and a voltmeter. Voltmeter is connected to ground and output of my pass module. Pass sensor output is connected to the input of pass module. As you can see, voltage shows near zero and when I move a magnet in front of the sensor, voltage rises. And then goes to zero again. Here I adjust the amount of voltage coming out from my pass module. That is just a potentiometer. And here is the same thing with pedals involved. Voltage rises. And then goes to zero again. Now the system is not perfect. There is an occasional fast signal drop but in practice I noticed that it doesn't matter so much because I actually pedal my bike while this happens. So there you have it. You can still use your regular throttle and enjoy a pass system. I have been running one of my e-bikes for thousands of kilometers and I can tell you that a working good pass system is just must to have. Can't do without it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or you would like to see a video about this current e-bike chopper frame build I'm doing right now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See ya!